Welcome to another foreclosure tour sponsored by Metro Phoenix Homes. I'm Ron Wilczek, the broker. Today we're going to Star Summit in Peoria, Arizona, zip code 85382. Star Summit consists of 110 homes built between the years of 2003 and 2004. The homes range in size from 1,500 square feet up to 2,400 square feet. As indicated on the map, Star Summit is approximately two miles from Arrowhead Mall and all the associated shopping and restaurants, as well as from Major League Baseball Spring Training Facility. Professional football and hockey are located eight miles south on the Loop 101 freeway, as well as Lake Pleasant is located 15 miles north. We're in front of a property here at uh, 9054 West Villa Maria in Peoria, Arizona. It's a uh, 1880 square foot property built in 2003 by Montebello Homes. Landscape in the front just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Roof appears to be in really good condition. Outside of the home appears to be in pretty good condition except for the back porch. Entry is really nice, rock finish, castle look, has a really nice entry door as well. There's no electricity to the property, so the garage door has been propped open. The driveway has lots of uh, stains, it's like from vehicles leaking oil, so it needs to be cleaned up. Side yard. On both sides of the yard, it looks like the, the drainage uh, is not properly done because there's a lot of mud in the backyard. So the whole backyard on both sides is going to have to be dug for proper drainage. No evidence of um, termites that I could see. One coach light. So we walk into the uh, living room. It's missing a couple lights in here. The blinds are not working very well at all. The floor throughout the whole home needs to be replaced. Tile and carpet and vinyl. A lot of the blinds almost through the whole house need to be replaced. Screens and windows appear to be uh, fine. Another light fixture missing right above the front door. Tile and carpet, the carpet's in really bad shape. This room is, uh, the living room is 14 by 20. Now there's no electricity on the house, that's why there's no real good lights here. Kitchen, uh, the refrigerator, I don't know if it could be fixed or not, but it appears to have some back panel missing inside there. So I think it probably needs to be replaced. It's hard to tell if the microwave needs to be replaced or the stove, but it's in really bad shape when it comes to being dirty. Stove, you now just really dirty too, and probably Oven needs to be um, cleaned. It has a um, sink here. With the uh, big old um, garbage disposal. Cabinets appear to be in really good shape. Couldn't test the dishwasher out as well, but it looks like it. It's gonna work work fine. Countertops appear to be in really good shape. Cabinets appear to be in good shape. Um, the light fixtures above the kitchen either need to be cleaned or replaced. The ductwork and vents probably need to be replaced. I mean, not replaced, but cleaned. There uh, looks like nobody's cleaned or replaced the air filter. A little bit of sheetrock coming apart there. 
the flooring in the kitchen and dining room is all vinyl and measured it all out. It's uh, needs to be replaced. Family room is um, roughly 13 by 15 and uh, the blinds don't appear to be working very well. Um, flooring in here needs to be replaced as well. The house really needs a heavy duty cleaning um, throughout. Looks like it's missing one of the detectors. This is the master bedroom. Master is 19 by 14, almost 19 by 15. The blinds are missing on two of the um, windows and the other one's not cut correctly. Flooring in here of course needs to be replaced. It's in really bad shape. There's missing a, uh, a ceiling fan. Flooring in the um, master bath. It's all vinyl. Measure this to be replaced. Uh, cabinets appear to be in good shape. Drawers in the center. Double sinks. Also has like a jacuzzi style tub. And separate shower. Now the shower, the door handle is missing so that needs to be replaced. Whole entry inside the um, shower really needs to be cleaned. It's in really bad shape. I'm guessing the guy was a mechanic. Master closet has lots of space. Shelving. Again the carpet in here needs to be replaced. Laboratory area. All needs to be cleaned and painted. Missing a um, a shower uh, towel. Really nice vaulted ceilings. Really high ceilings. Looks like an energy uh, efficient home. Second bedroom is 11 by 10. No rock stars. I don't think anybody broke in. I think that was something they put on. I'm guessing. Real tall ceilings in this room as well. Carpet needs to be replaced. Paint through whole, the whole house needs to be replaced. Second bath is a Jack and Jill. Um, looks like it just needs a real good paint job in here. Has a little linen closet built in. It's in the bathroom. through the other side of the Jack and Jill. This bathtub uh, appears to be in pretty good shape but it's missing its shower head. Um, a little bit of sheetrock that needs to be touched up. Of course the flooring in here needs to be replaced. Walking into the um, third bedroom which is a 10 by 11. Um, all the bedrooms I notated need ceiling fans Waiting for this adjustment to come in for the camera. It's so dark in the house because of no electricity. Again, um, flooring needs to be replaced. It has the uh, four panel doors in the closets. Pretty large closets. Walking into the uh, fourth bedroom. Now this door needs to be replaced. Um, that's the only door I've seen in here that needs to be replaced. Looks like they've kicked it in and it's um, it's broken on both sides. This fourth bedroom is 10 by 11. Um, again it needs a ceiling fan, paint, and carpeting. So four panel doors. closet.
Walk into the laundry room, flooring uh, has the same vi vinyl as the kitchen. Needs to be replaced by tile, of course painting. Has a um, built-in security system. Walking in the garage here, looks like the floor needs to be clean, but it has epoxy. Has built-in cabinets, gas water heater. Appears to be in good shape. Light fixtures appear to be good. Garage door opener, as well as the uh, the garage door seems to be in really good shape. May need a new um, garage door uh, button there. out back appears to be in the back porch uh, just like the front driveway they're staining um, on the back patio it needs to be cleaned up the um, appears to be like a dog or something has messed up the stucco on the back patio as well as the stucco right before you get into the um, the back door it also needs a back sliding door screen has um, speakers out here as well as ceiling fans on the back patio and it has also in the um, family room has speakers a ceiling fan the back area looks like a high efficiency AC unit however the drainage um, it's not very well back here. This is all needing to be dug up and give proper drainage to the lot. Back uh, of the home appears to be in pretty good shape except for the porch. That's where the, it looks like the, like I said, the dog did damage to the, um, the stucco and needs to be painted as well. We have a um, barbecue area here. Looks like it's built with slate. Looks like a really nice um, nicely done. However, the barbecue is missing, suggesting that rather than replacing or taking out all of the barbecue, just replacing that barbecue. Putting maybe something in there. That's where their fridge goes. Maybe put that tile back in. A little bit of, little bit of grout work. Again, this backyard needs to be have um, proper drainage um, done with it. It's it's really muddy and it's been a few days since it rained so this shouldn't be back here. So the whole back landscape needs to be worked on. The side of the house as well. You have blocks blocking the water so that would need to be removed. A little panel for the jacuzzi tub and the master access. Again the um, Back of the home is in pretty good shape when it comes to paint. Thank you for joining us on another video tour. We are Ron and Christina Wilczek, Metro Phoenix Homes. Feel free to give us a call at 480-445-9480 or see us on the web at metrophoenixhomes.com. Thanks and have a blessed day.